Hello and welcome again to Devotion and Prayer with the devotional Maranatha, The Lord is Coming by Ellen G. White. Today's reading is February the 27th, The Vision is Sure. The vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Habakkuk 2 verse 3. The faith that strengthened Habakkuk and all the holy and the just in those days of deep trial was the same faith that sustains God's people today. In the darkest hours, under circumstances the most forbidding, the Christian believer may keep his soul stayed upon the source of all light and power. Day by day, through faith in God, his hope and courage may be renewed. In the service of God, there need be no despondency or loss of hope, no wavering, no fear. The Lord will more than fulfill the highest expectations of those who put their trust in Him. He will give them the wisdom their varied necessities demand. Of the abundant provision made for every tempted soul, the Apostle Paul bears eloquent or forceful testimony. To him was given the divine assurance, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. In gratitude and confidence the tried servant of God responded, Most gladly therefore will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in, re in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 and 10 We must cherish and cultivate the faith of which prophets and apostles have testified. The faith that lays hold on the promises of God and waits for deliverance in his appointed time and way. The sure word of prophecy will meet its final fulfillment in the glorious advent of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The time of waiting may seem long. The soul may be oppressed by discouraging circumstances. Many in whom confidence has been placed may fall by the way. But with the prophet who endeavored to encourage Judah in a time of unparalleled apostasy, let us confidently declare the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let us ever hold in remembrance the cheering message. The vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. The just shall live by his fate. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you for being our God, our Father, our Friend, our Lord, our Savior, Christ, our Brother, our High Priest, our Sacrifice, the Holy Spirit, our Comforter, our Guide, our Spirit of Truth. We confess that we are mortal, feeble sinners, but we thank you for the grace of God. We thank you for the righteousness of Christ that you can cover us, that you can make us more than conquerors. Please give us the Holy Spirit. Fill us with the Holy Spirit that we can have the latter rain power to finish our work, Lord. Thank you for this promise and help us to remember it. Bring it to our remembrance in times of test and trial by Satan that we are to hold, that we are to wait for it. It might seem to tarry. The answer might not seem to be coming. We might seem to be in trouble. But you will always come through for us. Your word is always sure. Your word will never, ever return to you void. So Lord, help us to remember these promises. Help us to remember it, to claim it, and go in faith, knowing that while we might not see it, the just shall live by faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So while we are waiting for your soon return, while we are waiting for the laddering power, while we are waiting for the loud cry, let us go out and do our missionary work. Let us do our witnessing. Let us do our prayers, our Bible studies, knowing that everything will produce the fruit necessary and we will stand faithful, victorious with you. Once again, be with us, be with our family members, be with our church, be with our leaders, be with those who will receive the message and join the ranks. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen.